I guess I'm really interested in your assessment of the, the ads that we've seen, not only by the campaigns themselves, but also by the outside groups that are spending here, Republican Governors Association, some of the progressive PACs that we've seen. What does this advertising tell us about their strategies, and how do you think that they're doing? Well, first of all, uh, you see the bulk of the advertising. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a substantial amount of advertising for this point in the race, and that's going to continue. And what you largely see is that these ads are dividing along certain lines. So generally, we have the candidates talking about themselves or why they would be the best candidate. Uh, in the case of Paul LePage, obviously his strategy is to try to improve the favorability of his image, and therefore he's been largely focused on ads relating to his character, mm -hmm. uh, talking about how uh, really he's unique. He's not a politician. He's getting things done. He's brought some major changes. Uh, at the same time, you see with Misho uh, an emphasis on his character, how he's not divisive. He can bring people together. He wants to work with a broader range of groups. Because I think Maine voters generally are looking to have someone they feel will get things done and move out of this kind of bitter politics and divide that we've seen. Similarly with Elliot Cutler, uh, what we see in his campaign is him talking a lot about how you know we need to have an independent way and a third way. Although, in, interestingly, many of his ads have not really been focused on that. His initial ad kind of gave you the example of how he can get things done with his effort to invest in a company uh, that now sells Maine lobsters in China. Mm -hmm. But lately, his ads have been more about the process, you know, more about debates, more about how these other candidates are unwilling to engage him uh, because his real advantage will be to try to get the two other candidates to treat him as a serious contender and engage with him on policy issues. Has he been affected with that, by the way, do you think? Or? You know, I don't think it's been that effective in mm -hmm. large part because voters generally don't care that much about the process issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, what you try to do with those types of ads is get to an issue of fairness uh, and trying to create the image that, you know, the two major party candidates are not being fair with respect to my candidacy. Uh, but generally, I think that that given the issues facing the main voters, you know, that's not one of their major concerns. Uh, what you see in the advertising in terms of the independent groups, therefore, is uh, a large amount of advertising that's largely geared towards opposing the candidate mm -hmm. that they oppose. Uh, largely along two lines so far. Uh, uh, one line has been focusing on environmental issues. Uh, the League of Conservation Voters and some of the other groups have particularly focused on environmental issues. And I think that's because on the progressive side, they know that environmental voters are primarily going to vote Democratic, uh, that these are voters who uh, would also find Elliot Cutler having appeal, giving his background in environmental policy, and therefore they're more or less a battleground. And with the bear baiting referendum, we know a lot of these voters are going to be coming out to vote on one side or other of the issue, and therefore you, know, you want to convince them to vote on the gubernatorial race for your candidate. And finally, the other issue that we've seen that I think has been very effective is this debate on uh, welfare or on benefits uh, being given to immigrants, largely because it's an ad that gives great appeal to Paul LePage's base vote, mm -hmm. who he wants to motivate to turn out to vote. And we have now seen uh, a response ad in terms of trying to cast the claim about welfare uh, and Social Security being one and the same that is now being run by Maine Forward that is now a matter of controversy in the race. And that's clearly a response to the claims being made about uh, Misho and benefits to immigrants. So those are two issues that are going to continue to be important in this race. Well, very good. Do you think that it's going to continue this way? Or do you think there'll be a change? Well, I think that what we're going to see is a continued uh, bifurcation with the uh, outside groups running many of the more negative contrast ads and the candidates trying to stay positive. I think that we're going to see more engagement on the issues. And at some point, the real issue for voters, the main economy is going to have to take front and center. And we'll probably see much more advertising about the state of the main economy and a debate over whether we're headed in the right direction or not, because ultimately that's going to be what's important to voters. Very good. Well, thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure.